Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at where and how to catch all 52 fish in The Sims 4. Yes, all 52. Please drop a like and maybe a subscribe if you're feeling kind. We'll get started very quickly, but just some quick groundskeeping before we get into it. Now, many fish have been added into the game by various expansions. We'll start by going through catching all the 24 fish from the base game, as that's likely most relevant to the most people. Then we'll go through the 14 in Sulani from the Island Living expansion pack, as in my opinion, they are the most beautiful fish. After that, we'll talk about the five fish from the Outdoor Retreat game pack, before moving on to the three from the Spa Day game pack, the two from the City Living Expansion Pack, the one from the Sims 4 Vampires Game Pack, and finally the three fish from the Sims 4 Jungle Adventure Game Pack. Oh my god, so many fish. Note that for each fish, I will only reveal locations from the game pack they're from or from the base game. For example, it would be very unhelpful of me to tell you how to catch base game fish in Sulani because you might not have the Island Living Expansion Pack. There are also some fish that you can only find in Hidden Worlds. There's a full guide on how to get to every Hidden World in the description and I will call out when a spot is in a Hidden World, but I won't have the full details on getting to each world in this video. Again, video link in the description. Now it's also worth noting that at level 10 fishing, we unlock the option to angle for a big catch. And this will help filter out many of the more common fish and you can catch rarer fish more often. If you want more common fish, just fish normally. Whereas if you're chasing down more rare varieties, then angling for a big catch is the way to go. Other fish do require certain types of bait and I will call this out when it's the case. I also do suggest using the opening few spots to train up to level 10 fishing if you can, because it can just help you with the other areas where there are some fish that require high skill levels. Also note that many fish can be found in multiple spots around the Sims world, but the idea of this guide is just to provide a reliable way to find each and every fish without taking you to 5 million locations. Alrighty, let's start. Our first location is in Oasis Springs, and it's great for many of those more common fish. Head to the Mirage Canyon area with all of the community lots and run to the water behind them. We're going to use the middle spot of the three there. Here you can catch goldfish, guppy, tetra, koi, minnows, perch, bass, beta, and angelfish. It's a great spot to start while your fishing level is quite low. Try to keep the extra fish you catch rather than sell them as they're often not worth much and are needed as bait for some of the fish down the track. Alrighty, let's move on to our next spot which is in Willow Creek. Enter the courtyard lane area and head down to the stream. This is a great spot for catching a few more fish including trout and the kissing gormani as well as some general common fish we've already covered earlier. Again, this is great for the earlier levels. Between these first two spots you should easily tick off most of the common fish. For our next spot, we're going to the hidden world of the Sylvan Glade. This hidden world is in Willow Creek and again, full guide on getting there in the description. Once there, head to the waterfall and start fishing. This is the only spot in the base game to catch the tree fish, so you will need to come here for that one. In addition, it's a reliable spot to catch tilapia as well as the very beautiful rainbow fish and the gummy guppy. It's also just a super pretty spot. Alright, on to our fourth spot and for this we're heading back to Oasis Springs. Enter the Desert Bloom Park and travel all the way north until you see a fishing spot that backs onto a bunch of rocks. It's time to get to work fishing. This is a great spot for a few common fish, but also some rare ones. The main common fish this spot is great for is salmon. You can also catch some rarer fish, such as the Captain Fishbone's Bonefish, as well as the Sturgeon, and the catch rate for these can be increased by angling for a big catch if you're level 10 fishing. But that's not all. There are three more fish here that will require bait to reliably catch. One is the catfish, which can be caught with small or medium sized fish's bait. Note that you can hover over a fish in your inventory to see what size it is. Specifically, I caught catfish using angelfish, tilapia, sturgeon, tetra, goldfish, koi, and guppy. So there are so many options. In this spot, you'll also find the rare piranha fish, which can be caught here using medium sized fish as bait. I caught them using bass, tilapia, and rainbow fish. And finally, this is also a great spot to catch the rare red tail black shark, which uses small fish as bait. Specifically, I caught them using beta, perch, and guppy fish. Alas, that covers 21 of the 24 base game fish, which leaves three more for our final spot, which is in the hidden world of the Forgotten Grotto. This requires level 10 of the handiness skill to enter and is the only place in the game to catch the batfish. Simply head over to the fishing spot and you should get a batfish in no time. 
It's also where you can catch the wolf eel. But note that for this slippery sea creature, you'll need to be using frogs as bait. Frogs can be caught at the ponds in parks, such as the Desert Bloom Park, relatively easily by clicking on them and using the look for frogs option. I suggest stacking up quite a few to use as you'll go through bait quite quickly. But with a bit of luck and using the frogs as bait, you should get a wolf eel. The final fish you can catch here, which will complete your collection, is the angler fish. It's a scary looking fish, but got a cuteness to it. You will again need to be using bait for this one and medium fish should be your go-to. Specifically, I caught some with bass, catfish, trout, and the rainbow fish. Alrighty, that's the 24 base game fish, and we're now going to move on to the 14 in Sulani from the Island Living Expansion Pack. Keep in mind that for these fish, you'll need to get quite high levels to catch a few, including level 10 for the golden mahi mahi. The great news is that I caught 12 of the 14 fish in one single spot. Head to the Lani St. Taz area and visit the middle lot, Yes, this is where my fishing sim is located and his lot is overflowing with fish tanks. Now look to the left of the lot if you're facing the shore and you should see a fishing spot. This is our next location. To catch the 12 fish in this location, I used a mixture of normal fishing and angling for a big catch once I hit level 10, which definitely helped me get the rarer fish faster. The more common fish in this area include the Celestial Groper, which doesn't look very celestial, Nemo or Clownfish, the very green Mahi Mahi, a neon angelfish, which is basically an orange angelfish, and the beautiful fighting placat. The very colourful parrotfish as well as the butterfly fish can also be caught here, and I would call them more mid-tire fish in Suwani. And finally, as your level increases, and ideally by angling for a big catch, you'll be able to catch the very striking green placat, as well as the bluefin tuna and the leopard shark, as well as one of the prettiest fish, the scorpion fish, and at level 10, the golden mahi mahi. Admittedly, the golden mahi mahi did not come easy. Now, there are two more fish in Solani that require you to fish in deep water, which you'll have to ride a canoe to get to. There's a dark patch of water that's a spot just offshore from your current fishing spot. Purchase an outrigged canoe and place it on your lot, and then have your sim add it to their inventory, at which point you can have them sail out to sea. Then, have them fish off the boat, and you'll be able to catch the final two fish, being the Royal Saberfish and the Swordfish. While the Royal Saberfish needed no bait, I did find the Swordfish was much easier to catch using vegetables as bait. This bait is super easy to get, simply buy a gardening pot and click on it to purchase seed packets, buy and open vegetable packets, and you should have exactly what you need. I used taro root and mushrooms for bait, I also found this was a good way to get the golden mahi mahi too if you're struggling from the shore. I caught the golden mahi mahi with taro root and spinach as bait. And that covers the 14 fish from the island living expansion pack. Alrighty, it's time to turn our attention to the 5 fish from the outdoor retreat game pack. These 5 fish are the walleye, yellow perch, red crawdad, yes they look like lobsters, the blue crawdad, yes they look like blue lobsters, as well as the mountain lionfish, which is such a cool fish. Now the great news is that these can all be caught in one spot, being the hidden world of the Hermit's House, which is also called the Deep Woods. Again, guide on getting there in the description. Note that this is also the only spot in the game where you can catch a mountain lionfish, and it's just helpful that you can catch every other fish from the Outdoor Retreat game pack here too. Angling for a big catch will help you reel in the blue crawdad and mountain lionfish more frequently. Alrighty, next it's time for Spa Day and the three fish that come with this game pack, being the very cute discus, the exotic goldfish, because regular goldfish just isn't cutting it anymore. And finally, the chichlid. You know, you can actually buy these all from purchasing fish to stock the spa day fish tank and then add them to your collection this way. Note that it must be the tank that comes with the spa day pack. But if you want to catch them, then they can all be caught back at our first spot by the shops in Oasis Springs. Do note that angling for a big catch will help with catching the exotic goldfish. Powering through, it's time for the two fish from the City Living Expansion Pack, which are the controversial pufferfish, yes, I'm going to call the pufferfish controversial, as well as the tuna. Thankfully, both of these can be found at a spot we've already been to, being the rocky spot near the Desert Bloom Park in Oasis Springs. Next up is the Vampire Squid from the Sims 4 Vampires Game Pack. Simply head to the Garlic Water Place House or the Vittori's Residence in the Forgotten Hollow and head to the fishing spot at the lake nearby. Start fishing and you'll have one in no time. This is supposedly a rare fish, but it's quite easy to catch. And last but not least, we have our final three fish from the Jungle Adventure Game Pack, which are the Tambaki, 
the armored catfish, it's like an upgraded regular catfish, and finally the electric eel, which pulses electricity in its tank. Thankfully, all these can be found in one spot. Annoyingly, it's a difficult spot to get to. For these, you'll need to use your phone to book a holiday over at Salvadorada. Then, you'll ideally want to go to the marketplace located in Cantina El Arbol del Jaguar and see if there's any machetes for sale at the marketplace. You'll be given one machete at the start of your trip, but it might go missing and you may need a spare. Then you'll want to head over to the Bello Mesa trailhead and start cutting your way through the vine gate to enter the jungle. Note, I have a more detailed guide on exploring the jungle and I've put this link in the description too. Alas, cut your way through the gate and then run all the way across the bridge to the second gate. Enter this one and you'll end up in an area that has four gates. You'll want to go through the most eastern gate. Here you can find a fishing spot and in it you'll be able to catch the tambaki, almond catfish and electric eels. Annoyingly, sometimes this gate can be shut, in which case you can end your holiday and book another one and make your way there again. I know, super frustrating, but leaving your holiday and rebooking your holiday will reshuffle which areas are open and closed and you should be able to get in there. Also note that angling for a big catch will help you catch the electric eels more often. Alas, that was an absolute journey, but we have made it all the way to the end. That's all 52 fish, yes, 52 fish, as well as how and where to catch them. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would be very appreciative. And have an awesome day. See you later.